Hi guys, my name is Mario and uh, we're just working on a building that used to be a, a nice skating ring. So we're just gonna focus on an installation of a supply dock and a drop for a return. All right, so let's go. So on this room, we're going to install a straight supply dock, which is a dock work number one. And uh, we're going to the prints to look out for all those pieces. We got the dock run that we're going to install today, which is from P86 through uh, P97. So let's go and look for them at the box. Here is our box of our dock run number one. And as we can see, we got the P87, P88. So we're gonna have all those pieces in one box, or probably if the run is too long, we're gonna have a couple boxes for it. So let's go ahead and take it off. The last one already came with the cap on, which is better. So we don't, that way we don't have to install it. Okay, so after we found the pieces we need, we just look for our clamps, which they come in separate boxes. They usually come together on a zip tie like this for a specific run. It's a good idea to put them all in order so that way we're sure that we're gonna have the whole run and the place where it needs to be. We got the center of our duck run right there, of our supply duck run. So what we're trying to do, find the center, but we're gonna try to put it on the square with the wall. Okay, so we have our laser on the floor already, and that's marking the center of our duck. We got the center of a duck right here. Duck work size is a 16 inches. So we go eight inches to each side. We got eight inches right here. And we do have eight inches from this mark right here. So we're gonna proceed to install our fasteners. We install this washer on this loop so the loop, it won't come off. So, we got all these pieces of that work with gasket that already come from the factory like that. So, but we have to check and be sure that there's no piece of a gasket missing, like in this case. Either we have to replace the whole gasket or just put add a little piece right there. Because that's very important, so we don't gonna have an air leakage through there. What we're doing right now, this that work is a 16 inches diameter, so we're gonna do like four pieces together, and we're gonna line up these seams. So what we need to be sure is to align this welding part in here, this line, so they can line up our diffusers on the side. So we can go and do a single piece, hang them up in the air, or we can decide to do two, three, four pieces, it all depending on the diameter of the dark work. We want these connections of the big clamps at 12 o'clock, so that way it won't be visible from the room itself. This is the duck jack that we're gonna use to pick up our dark work. Uh, the only thing we do different in here is that we use this wood pallet and we cut like a round shape on the bottom and we put a piece of rubber so we don't gonna scratch the duct work from underneath or do any dent or any damage at all. When you're doing the lifting of your duct, try to keep the seam and the connections of the B clamp as on top of the duct work as possible. So that way you don't have to spin as much when you have it up there. So right now what we're trying to do is just line up the duct work with the existing duct work through the wall and we can go ahead and make that connection. As you can see, we have our B clamp there before so it's a whole lot easier. So what we're doing right now, we're trying to put these diffusers on level. The way that we do it is we use a create street rod, put it all the way through, 
and then we put a torpedo level on one of the sides so you can check if it eats on level or it needs to be adjusted once you got it where it needs to be you can go ahead and secure we're just installing our laser right now to try to get a proper elevation on the duckware so the duckware is gonna be on level we are going to take our first measurement which is 62 and 3 quarters and we're gonna try to match it over here we have 60 and a half in here so we need to go up like two inches and a quarter so we're gonna raise this up By installation, it's always better to be on level. And uh, it's important that it's gonna have an air distribution evenly on this room as it's supposed to be. We proceed to do a double loop. This cable comes from a gripple and is provided by captive air. So all this cable, all this hardware, we're gonna find it in, a, in the boxes. Now we lower the duck jack slowly and you can see that the suspension cable is doing the work it's supposed to. Generally we're trying to avoid to covering the holes. We can just slide it before or after the hole as we need. And then we go into the next piece. As we install in each hanger, we need to be sure that every hanger we're gonna be at the same elevation with the laser. Yep. Now that we've finished the installation of our horizontal duct, we just wanna take a walk and take a visual of the hangers. If they're lined up, because sometimes it could have happened that the double loop hanger, it'll pull the duckboard to one side or another. This one looks really good. We can take a look on the side for all those supply orifices right there. They look really good. So we can say that this duck run is done. Okay, uh, we're gonna start on this drop for RTU2, this is a return. We have to do a modification of this duct work because as you can see, it's into the wall. We contact our uh, engineer designer and he gave us the option to have an offset, 230 degrees offset right there. So that's what we did to keep it out of the wall. Anytime you use an offset like this, you should check for a level to get a proper installation. As we say, it's better to start from the, the square to round on the main drop to every run out, like in this case, we're doing a return run out into the classroom. We have this return duck running here that we got uh, already on level. And uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the measurements from here, put it into the wall, as we already did. And uh, then we're gonna cut up our hole. So that way it'll give me an idea where I need to do my framing for my square to round, which is this one right here. So basically this is a, adjustable piece that has got just a flange on one side and we got the flange on the other side with a special adapter. We put it inside of a regular piece and then as it could be this length, as it could be shorter, one of the important things is that this part of the adjustable duct 
it's got to be a minimum of about six inches to stick into the regular duck. We got the adjustable piece attached to the square to round, and we're just gonna slide it into the regular that work with adjustable color, like this. Goes into the frame. Before you finish, just make sure you checked up your level. So that's pretty much how we install the duck work from Captive Air. There are some tips to remember guys when you're installing this duck work. The most important thing is that uh, don't forget your gasket. Make sure that all your hangers lined up real good. Keep your beak clamps at 12 o'clock. And just remember to uh, use all the tag numbers on the duck work corresponding to the prints. I've been installing Dagwar for about like 19 years and I like the way this uh, Dagwar has been designed and I like the way that the Dagwar works. It's a very versatile Dagwar to work with. It's definitely better and quicker installation than Sparrow, but this is a whole lot easier to put it together because you're avoiding all the cramping, all the stuff that is that you had to do with the Sparrow. It's just like a building a Lego set, but just in a bigger dimension, which is a really fun. I like the result that it gives. Shiny, uh, industrial looking, and it's a pretty clean duck.